The Evans Creek Canoe Launch was completed in 2016, relocating the existing facility approximately 1,000 feet south. The improvements include a paved access road, parking area, and an ADA, American Disability Act, accessible canoe launch. Located between Walton Road and Village Green Drive, this new access to Evans Creek provides opportunities to enjoy Savannah's Preserve State Park and the North Fork of the St. Lucie River up close. The Crosstown Parkway extension allowed opportunities for the City of Port St. Lucie to provide funding to restore wetlands, improve water quality, and provide recreation and ecotourism opportunities for resident and visitors in various areas right here in St. Lucie County through mitigation projects. The City coordinated with the Florida Department of Environmental Protection and proposed to complete some of the projects listed in the 2009 North Fork St. Lucie River Aquatic Preserve Management Plan as compensatory mitigation for crossing state-owned lands with the new Crosstown Bridge. Here comes a kayaker now, utilizing the new ADA Accessible Canoe Launch Enhancement, making it easy to take advantage of this access point to glide down waterways alive with abundant flora and fauna. See how simple it is for him to enjoy a day on the river. The five-acre habitat the city restored with scrub and scrubby flatwoods to attract scrub jays. The birds have been absent from the North Fork since 1984, but the new habitat provides opportunity for nesting around the river once more. In addition, the restored habitat will be home to gopher tortoises as well. Visitors can reach the canoe and kayak launch thanks to a new paved access road from US-1. There is also a parking area with space for trailers and the launch is handicap accessible. The city has invested $1,032,150 for the design and construction of this project, which enhances this critical waterway and fish and wildlife habitat in the North Fork of the St. Lucie River. With the Crosstown Parkway extension, Port St. Lucie residents and visitors are discovering new ways to enjoy the rich wetlands and natural wildlife habitats of St. Lucie County.